Hello and welcome to the Iron Wayfarer location and boss guide. This video also shows you where to go after defeating the Light Reaper. I show you how to get to the Iron Wayfarer first, then the no heal skill and guide, followed by my gear and stats. For more game guides and souls like content, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. I'll show you the location from the last boss we killed, that is the Light Reaper. Please check out my guide of where to go after Judge Cleric if you need help getting here first. One more thing to note, you will encounter the Light Reaper and this boss only if you have disabled all 5 beacons before coming back to this upper Kalrath area through the Skyrest Bridge. The 5 beacons are the Hush Saint, Upper Kalrath, the Crow, Tancred and Cleric. Guides to all of these are in the playlist in the description. You can open the door to the left by removing the Umbral Entity. Strategy for this boss was to land quick hits in between his combos. The number of combos he does is limited but many of them are deceptively quick. First one is this hand swing followed by a back hand swing. The second one is this double slam where the second one is a bit delayed. When he ignites his weapon on fire, the most important attack to be careful of are the fire explosions. Another combo is where he would swing his weapon and slam at you. For the fire explosions I mentioned, as long as you stay close and dodge to either side or his back, you will be fine. The explosions travel in a line and you can find yourself in a bad spot especially in phase 2 if you're not careful. He also has this running slam to catch you off guard at a distance. When he ignites his weapon at 50% HP, this is permanent. All his slams now will leave a pool that explodes after a second. This makes it necessary that you dodge his fire explosion slams and get around him rather than staying at one side which will get you killed. These usually happen in combos of 3. Other than that, the swing combos remain the same. You have to be extra careful that while doing attacks in between you don't step on pools and get exploded. I also wanted to add that this boss doesn't seem susceptible to any salts so I was just using fire since I was out of the others. I tried holy, smite, wither, fire, poison and bleed. I was out of frost so couldn't try that. Some rogues can never. Here are my stats and gear. And that's it. 
for more game guides and souls like content don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button thanks for watching